Hey guys, what's up? It's I'm Stricken 6 of Stricken 6com And today on the agenda, we're going to be replacing a fan belt, our serpentine belt, in our 2008 Nissan Rogue. Now, this part, part number, should work on the Nissan Rogue of all years and models, the Nissan Altima with a 2.5 liter engine, as well as the Nissan Sentra with a 2.5 liter motor. So basically, if you got a 2.5, well, you might want to cross-reference this information with your local dealer. They're going to ask you for your VIN number. This part should work for your car, and the process should be the same for all of those years, models, and uh, engines of 2.5s. So stay tuned. I'm going to do my little flashy intro, and I'll see you guys in front of the car. So looking at inside the wheel well area, we have this cover. We see it's a different color than the rest of this flap here. And you see mine, it's actually supported also by zip ties along with its stock clips. Now my car was in a car accident and that's why I lost a few of these little flimsy clips. So I just resorted to zip ties. Zip ties work just as well, if not better actually. And see how well they hold up? Some will do better than others, some won't. But I have these little specialty pliers and they grip these little clips. They're supposed to help in the removal. But the biggest problem that I find is that they just shatter. Just like that. Because, you know, they're exposed to the elements out here and they get pretty fragile. And upon removal, they unfortunately lose their little legs. Wow, this is the only one out of all of them held, held on four legs. Not a big deal. You could just use zip ties to uh, secure this. And believe me, zip ties will do a lot better of a job than um, those stupid little clips. take that set of the side. So now that we're in our workspace, what we have here is our harmonic balancer. This is where our crank is, our crankshaft, our AC clutch, our oil filter, and our pulley here. We're gonna need to drop that down by turning this nut clockwise, only clockwise. What that will do is that will bring it downward, releasing the tension on our belt. Let's focus on that belt for a second and take a look at all these little stress cracks, all the little fractures in that belt. That's pretty bad condition. Obviously, with age, they're gonna develop, so you can't change belts every time you see a crack or two, but this is pretty bad. This is 91,000 original miles, and that's what you get. So we're gonna change that up with a nice fresh belt. So let's take a look at the tools we're gonna to need. Now, you can use a breaker bar, which is just a large ratchet, basically, it gives you a little bit more leverage and torque on whatever it is you're trying to remove or tighten. You can use a ratchet and a socket, number 14. Or if you don't have any of this stuff, you can use a 14 wrench. I would stay away from this because this has a multi-point. See that end right there? It's multi-point versus a six-point. These tend to round off nuts and bolts so I would stay away from this but if this is your only option then that's what you got to do. Now I'm going to post a photo on my website I'm stricken 06com in the blog section of the exact route that this belt takes on the engine. Well let's take a quick look since we're already here. So as I mentioned before this is your harmonic balancer this is where the crankshaft is so it loops around this way continues down to the AC pump and it goes up but if we go in reverse order it comes down below the tensioner pulley it comes up to the alternator, 
down from the alternator to the water pump. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my socket onto my breaker bar. I'm going to put it on like so. And I'm going to apply clockwise pressure onto the breaker bar, which should release the tension on the belt. And as you can see, it starts moving that belt and the belt starts getting slack. If I release it, it's nice and tight. And if I apply it clockwise, it's nice and loose. So while we have it loose, we're just gonna slip the belt off of the harmonic balancer here. Off of that tensioner and off of the AC compressor. And we can just release that for right now and go up top. Looking at it from the alternator, from the bird's eye view from the top of the engine bay, we could just take it off of our alternator and work it off of the water pump back there. So here is our tensioner. I'm gonna slip that belt off of it, like so. Off of that, like so. Just basically keep feeding it outward, like so. And it should make its way off. Just like that. All right, now we got it off. Now to put the belt back on, we're gonna slip it over the alternator, which is this thing right here. Just feed it downward for yourself. And it's gonna go underneath the pulley right underneath the alternator. It's gonna go underneath that. Feed it through to the AC compressor. Over the harmonic balancer. And what I'm doing now is trying to sneak it up to the water pump. So since I'm having a little bit of issues with getting it over this harmonic balancer, I'm going to take some soapy solution and just spray it and hopefully that will give me just enough lubricity and I can get that belt over that harmonic balancer. So I'm just going to set myself up here, once again get this belt aligned on all the pulleys, including the tensioner, and make sure it's feeding down right to me. just like that and now mind you it's not on a hundred percent of the way on the harmonic balancer so I'm going to fix it really quickly there we go now it's in the grooves correctly now we're just going to go over and make sure it looks all right on all the pulleys so before we turn the car on we want to make sure it's on all the pulleys correctly so we have the alternator here nice and flush AC compressor, nice and flush. I got the idler pulley, nice and flush. We got the water pump back there. 
nice and flush. All right, so let's turn the motor on. Now, you might hear it squeak a little bit for two reasons. A, it's a new belt getting set uh, into the grooves that it needs to be in. And also that soapy solution that I sprayed onto the harmonic balancer. And I'm also going to turn the AC on, so you're going to see this clutch engage as well. So let's turn the car on. There you go guys, that looks good to me. It's not squeaking, it's not jumping. It's gonna make sure real quick that that AC clutch engages. And I can see that it does. We're also looking for that, uh, there it goes. We're also looking for this uh, tensioner pulley to make sure it's not bobbling around. So it's nice and smooth, it looks good to me. All right, excellent, good work. All right guys, so there you go, that's how to change your serpentine belt, your fan belt, whatever you wanna call it on your Nissan Rogue, Nissan Altima, and Nissan Sentra, as long as it has a 2.5 liter motor. So, out with the old, in with the new. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to visit Amstrick06.com for more info. Take care.